Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review. And today I'm going to be reviewing Measure for Measure by Ian Bailey. So before we do this, can you please like and subscribe and check out cardmagiccourse.com. That is my online card magic course. Over 400 recorded videos, new ones added nearly every week, I upload the live sessions. Uh, so it's a great way to learn, lovely community, and, uh, and I'm very, very proud of it. So cardmagiccourse.com. If you like this channel, you will love that course, uh, as people do. The feedback's great. So don't take my word for it. Go and have a look at the site and you'll see all the testimonials. So you'll, you might hear a little bit of banging. There's a bit of banging next door, so sorry about that. But, so what is this trick? I'll tell you what the trick is. Very simple, and that's a, that's a good thing. Uh, you get a tape measure out, you say, right, tell me when to stop. It, this is the basic version, by the way. Let me just check them in there. Uh, they say when to stop, and then you go, right, you could have stopped anywhere, and you stopped just there. Man, you can see this is normal. Just say stop at any time. Stop. There? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the, the the basic routine and actually i think it's the best one it's not the most magical there is a routine on here there's a couple of routines and one of them is where you predict the name of a child or a name of a person you get a kid out you can measure them and then it said you are and you've got the name and everything on there and it's a really nice routine and great for kids parties and all that sort of thing but i think there's something really nice in that kind of like do that do that that's it Sorry, the bang is doing my head in, but I've got to record it today because it ain't going to happen. And when I got this, I went through a quite the usual process, actually. It happens quite often. I got it. I thought, what's that? Because I hadn't looked any, didn't, didn't want to know anything about it. I thought, that's really heavy. <laughs> what, what, what's that arrived? So I got the thing out and went, oh, right, that's why it's heavy. Because it is a real, you know, that's the sort of package. You get a real um, Stanley heavy-duty tape measure. So I got I was quite handy actually because I was after a new tape measure uh, and you get a, a gimmick with it if there's obviously it's not just a tape measure that's not what you're paying for so what you're paying for is that trick and the the other tricks and the, the, you you can predict anything you can put it uh, you can get someone to put a mark on a wall and then say right we measure it oh look I knew exactly where you're going to put the mark like I said the kids names and then the basic level I, I got the then I looked at it and I thought okay it's quite nice I've seen similar things before he does mention Joshua J's version which is a, a kind of more impromptu version and the uh, and it's just just as a, a, slight, a different method, and he taught a version of that actually in um, in his Zoom show that we that I saw um, the the version the one that was publicised um, and released. So that's what it does, and it will be easy to kind of dismiss because it's so simple and quick. And I think the best version of it is the quick one. I do, I do. I just think it's really nice to go that. And the reason I think that is because I, since I've done it a couple of times, that's. I kind of don't want to do anything else with it. I, the kind of quickness and the, it's kind of, again, in a really good way, it's, it's got a kind of laugh, people, a, a, a humour to it that I can't quite put my hand on. I think it's just because it's an unusual thing for a magician to, you know, just to go like that. And whoop, there we go. It, it's, I just think it's got a rhythm to it. It's really nice. I don't know why, but I think it's really, really strong. And I know that because it, like you, you see the reaction on the video. Uh, Tim know, knows his stuff again. He's not a magician, but he knows his stuff, and he just he thought it was great. So because of that simplicity, it's easy to dismiss it. We we try and look for things that are too complex. It's a quick trick. So on the plus side of it, it's fairly easy. Okay, but with one caveat in a minute, uh, it, you can do it on stage. Now he does say in the download you can do it in front of hundreds of people. I actually I think it's not that easy to read at a distance. And he said you could do it with cameras, and I thought, yeah, well, yeah, but you can do most things with cameras. But I do think it's great for parlour and most stages, but really big audiences. I think they're still gonna kind of not be able to see that bit unless you write it really big or it's really well lit, and which I suppose it can be. So, but it does kind of play quite big. But I do think it is mainly for stage. I don't really think it's a close-up thing. It can work close-up, and I have done it close-up, and it works. But there's two versions of this. There's an easy version and a really easy version. The really easy version has got a limitation to it that isn't going to be appropriate for a lot of situations, but that's fine, but it's easier. And the difficult, more difficult version isn't difficult, but it is a little bit tricky to get in and out of it really close-up and surrounded and things like that. There's angle issues. But I think this really is something you want to do when you're standing back and the people are there. I just, I think that's kind of what it's made for. 
Uh, also on the plus side, it's an unusual prop, isn't it? Like I said, it's it kind of it's got a humour to it, but because of that, it isn't going to suit a lot of people. So it depends who you are. I think it's quite specific. You, you know, if you're doing a a kind of really posh do and you've got your tux on, see, I do actually think it'd be quite funny to get that. <laughs> there's a kind of there's a, there's a clash, isn't there, which which has got quite a lot of humour in it. But it isn't going to suit a lot of people. And of course, it is very heavy, so carrying it around, yeah, quite handy. It's got a belt clip, um, clip anyway. But again, it's 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 got limitations. Uh, on the negative side, uh, it is a little bit more difficult than you think to do the slightly less easy version. I thought it looked like it would be really easy, but and, and it it is easy. I'm not. It's not. You don't need any sleight of hand or anything like that. But it is quite bold, and you are going to have to practice and rehearse it. When I say rehearse, I don't mean go and book a hall for four weeks. I mean just make sure you, it looks like it's going to be nearly self-working, but it is. And you've got to kind of have a play with it. And saying that, I did cut myself when I played with it. The gimmick that you get is quite sharp, so I would say just be a little bit careful with it. It wasn't a bad cut, but it wasn't a tiny little nick either. It was like, oh, you know, and it's, it's still there, and it's, um, it's a bit of a shock of playing the guitar now. But So just be a little bit wary of that. But I think it's a strong trick. I think it's a funny trick. I think it's direct. It's simple, and it's a nice bit. He says about it, it's good for an MC spot or something like that. And if you want a longer routine, the other routine he does provide is really good. Negatives are... Um, well, like most things, there's, there's always a blind spot, so um, the angle problem, be a little bit careful with the gimmick. And it is kind of limited, isn't it? For, for some people, it isn't just going to fit. But I think for those of you that want that direct effect, it's a, it's a good prop. And it's well made, and it's going to last you forever. So uh, that is Measure for Measure from uh, Alakazam and Ian Bailey, of course, who made it. But uh, thank you to Alakazam for sending it to me. Do use the links below if you're interested. Yeah, very important because, uh, because obviously they're nice enough to send me the stuff. Please like and subscribe. Check out Card Magic Course and have a great one. Cheers.